Hi, I'm Anastas. I'm a product engineer for thermistors at Vichy, and today I would like to show you a LT spy simulation involving a thermoelectric Peltier cooling element using an NTC thermistor. Before we go into the simulation of the temperature control of our Peltier element, let me first show you the macro model of the NTC sensor. In this case, an NTC ALUC 03A ring tongue sensor. It is modeled by two elements. The first here, which simulates the NTC electrical behavior, including the self-heating, and the second there, the thermal transfer of the LUC component, which transfers the heat to the element from the surface where it is screwed on. When we apply a temperature step from 25 degrees C to 70 degrees C, we get such a response curve for the lug, a S-shaped temperature variation with a small delay at the beginning and a final gradient between the surface and the core of the element. At low temperature, the gradient is also apparent. Now we are going to integrate this lug type sensor in a control circuit involving a full analog PID controller for a thermoelectric Peltier element. The Peltier pins are 1. The core temperature of the thermal mass to cool down. Second, the temperature of the heat sink which evacuates the heat to the surrounding. Third, the ambient temperature as an input for the Peltier, which can be changed at will. The two remaining pins of the Peltier are the ground and one for the input current. This current is produced by a Darlington transistor mounting controlled by the output voltage of the PID. As a PID input, we have the voltage of the Western Bridge comparing the voltage of the NTC sensor at its temperature and the equivalent voltage of the setting temperature profile. This voltage difference is amplified passing through proportional derivative and integrator amplifier, then is inverted and applied to the base of one of the Darlington transistor pair. In the sensor bridge, there is an adjustable resistor which is going to correct the gradient of the luck with respect to the thermal mass at low temperature. And the last feature of the simulation is a fail-safe comparator which will switch off all current on the Peltier in case of short circuit of the sensor even an intermittent one. It is time now for the simulation. The first one will sweep the adjustable resistor in order to seek for nominality of temperature. The setting temperature profile is first a linear decrease from 25 to 15 degrees C, then a dwell at 15 degrees C, and a further decrease to 5 degrees C. There are several curves presented on these two panes. On the lower pane, we present the cold thermal mass temperature in blue, the set temperature in yellow, the hot heat sink temperature in red, and the ambient temperature in green. On the upper pane, we have the difference between the cold temperature and the set temperature. This shows us how accurate we are in control. We have now computed in simulation the profile, and we are going to see from a measurement made by LT Spice what value of adjustable resistor we need to adopt. After extraction from the Spice doc file, we see that the offset between the final cold temperature and the set temperature of 5 degrees C is zero for a value of adjustable resistor of 590 ohms. We fix this, this uh, value uh, like this and we repeat the simulation. We arrive then at this nominal result. In this simulation, the ambient temperature was kept constant at 20 degrees C. But in the second simulation, we can let it sweep from 15 degrees C to 30 degrees C. And we see that the PID takes totally account of this variation, keeping the final temperature at the nominal 5 degrees C. As a final simulation, we are going to see how efficient the fail-safe switch is as we are going to induce serious shorts on the sensor starting from time equal to 2500 seconds with the help of this virtual switch. The two simulations are done one after the other, without and then after with failsafe. Without failsafe, the cold temperature is driven to much lower temperature than 5 degrees C as the PID sees a high temperature on the sensor, eventually leading to a complete freezing of the device. With a failsafe, as soon as the first short is measured, all current is shut off and the Peltier gets back to a ambient. If you have any question regarding this or regarding any LT spice involving NTC thermistor, please feel free to contact me.
Thanks for watching.